Welcome back. We are looking at the S&P 500 and this is going to be my weekly review of the S&P 500 and uh, where we probably are going to go from here. So Friday session, we basically ended at the top of the Monday session. So this is quite interesting. Um, however, I do expect us to go quite higher from here. I do expect us to go and retest these highs uh, from a few weeks ago and uh, that is probably gonna be our, our, our resistant level for now because I do believe that when we hit these highs again we will retest them and then we'll go back to the 15 moving average and then we'll continue higher or we'll start uh, trading within this range uh, for quite some time um, there is no real reason uh, other than the Fed is basically propping up this market um, for this market to basically go higher. Uh, the fundamentals of the economy are just horrible at the moment and uh, why this market should go higher uh, is just basically depending on whether or not the Fed props up this market even more. Um, so. If we were to break this uh, high, we were, are going to try to fill this gap here and then we're going to test the highs again. And I believe that it's going to be massive resistance for quite some time. As I said, there is no reason why um, the S&P 500 should be at this level. It's technically just dependent on the Federal Reserve and not the economic fundamentals at the moment. So at the moment, we are trading within a range of uh, 3,000 3, level, and we are trading at a high of, of 3,232. Um, and I can expect us to uh, trade within this range for quite some time. Uh, I believe on Monday session or Tuesday session we'll go and test these highs and we'll get a, a double uh, top here and then we'll go back down. Um, first we're going to, if we go back down, we'll test the 50 moving average which is around here. The, that is around 3033. And if we break the, the, the 50 moving average, which is quite possible, we'll go and test this uh, uh, 3000 um, support level here. And as I said, on top, I do not expect, uh, not, don't expect us to, to, uh, to break this uh, sub resistant level uh, in the short term. Uh, we will, of course, eventually break this resistant level, but not yet. Um, then we're going to fill the gap here and then we'll go looking for the highs. Uh, the reason why I say that is because uh, there's many of the companies that are in the S&P 500 are still uh, significantly affected by the coronavirus, uh, which uh, the United States are actually handling terribly. So I don't expect this market to go higher at any time soon. Uh, for the main reason why we have this very positive candle here on Friday is because, well, in recent months, almost every single Friday, not every single Friday, but there is some kind of news of some cure or, or, um, or a better treatment for corona uh, I don't know if that is uh, somebody planning, basically, just to prop up the market on a Friday. Um, however, news of, of uh, a cure or a new treatment of um, some sort for corona uh, usually comes out on a Friday. So uh, for f future uh, trading, just be prepared for um, somebody just uh, dropping uh, extremely good news on a Friday about a new treatment or or uh, or or a vaccine, um, only for the weekend to find out that that this treatment or cure um, was not as good as people expected. 
However, if we look at this trend line here, this could actually be um, something we could um, uh, focus on because um, we have tested uh, this trend line at least once and it looks similar to the trend line or the channel that has been created um, with the uh, Nasdaq. So the Nasdaq has is basically trading within a channel and that looks very similar to this. It is basically going up and down, up and down and so on. I'll do a video of the Nasdaq because Nasdaq is uh, one of the markets, uh, one of the indicators that I'm uh, thinking about trading. Um, and yes, I will do a, a video of, of what trades I will do next week and uh, what short positions I will take or what buying positions I will take. But this could be uh, also an indicator where we'll go. Um, uh, this shows that we'll basically um, Monday or Tuesday test this uh, uh, support level here and then we'll go higher and then we'll zigzag upwards um, depending on this support line. This is a very bullish um, uh, analysis. I kind of I like the other analysis that we basically uh, trade within this range uh, between 3000 and 3232 uh, for the foreseeable future. I think this is more a realistic um, analysis of where we're going in the short term. Now, if we look at the indicators, we can see that the RSI is uh, kind of in the middle, uh, 58, and it's trending upwards. The MACD has broken the signal line, indicating that we'll go higher. Uh, we, if we look at the Bollinger Band, which I technically think is the best indicator for uh, the S&P at the moment, uh, it has shown to be quite um, uh, quite accurate. Uh, we can see that we hit the highs here, then we went to the lows, and now we're almost at the highs. And I remember saying in the last week's video that when we reach these highs, I do expect us to uh, go lower. And this um, also coincides with these highs. We can expect a, a more a positive candle here and probably on Tuesday before going back down and uh, testing this lower Bollinger Band here. And the same goes for the stochastic. It also indicates that, that we are about to uh, go past the signal line here and go back down. It may well be that we go a little bit zigzag and then go down. Uh, the stochastic historically doesn't stay um, uh, on the highs for a long time or lows for a long time. It usually goes up and down, up and down, and so on. You can see the historical pattern of the of the of the stochastic, and that is usually what what happens, and that will put. Uh, um, that will basically fit perfectly uh, with our analysis that we will go and test these highs before going back down and probably uh, hitting the 50 moving average like we did uh, last week's uh, session and then we'll just go bouncing sideways for uh, the short term. So just to recap, the lows, 3,000, they're about the highs in the at least in the short term, 3,232. Um, and if we were to break this um, resistance level, we'll go to the uh, go and fill this gap here, and then we'll go and test the highs that were around uh, 3,000, 3,000, um, 3,300, 3,400 thereabout. I do not expect this to, boo, to, uh, to break anytime soon. Uh, like, I don't expect us to break this uh, 3,000 line. 
uh, there's just too much uncertainty at the moment. It's going to be a lot of, of volatility, just a lot of choppiness up and down, up and down um, for the foreseeable future. If I'm going to trade the S&P 500, um, no, not really. This is just, I use it as an indicator of where um, the economy is at the moment. Um, I'm not really interested in shorting at the moment or, or, um, or buying at the moment. If we were to just get an extremely positive candle that breaks the 3,200, uh, this level here, and goes near the top, yes, I will be shorting this. If we, if we have a, if we get some really bad news and we hit this 3,000 level here, I will considering, be considering buying. But at the, at the moment, we are basically in the middle of this range and I'm not really interested in buying or shorting at the moment. Uh, hope you find this uh, video uh, helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by liking and sharing our video and uh, hitting the support button. Um, good luck and happy trading and see you next time.